For the Page Boy Flop roller set, which is roller set number two, we start off with a pivot bang. If you need to review how to perform a pivot bang, you can watch video D.24. Just a reminder, our pivot bang has our four sections. These rollers are all positioned half face. The first three rollers are clipped at the back and the last roller in the pivot is clipped at the point. Your point is always near the sixth point, center of the head. And our triangle sections, make sure that you're accurate and you're dividing them equally. This half, these half rollers are used in the middle because of the diameter of the roller that I'm using. I use the larger diameter roller to match the length of my mannequin and therefore I have long rollers on the outside and two half size rollers of the same color on the inside and I'm using the charcoal so it's long, half size, half size, long. After you have finished the pivot, then you just simply have to put in two working parts down the center panel. And the working parts should be the width of your length of your roller. So use that as a guide. The subsections are the diameter of the roller that you're using, and you just want to go to the drop of the head. The drop of the head, to find that, just place your comb on top of the head and where the comb lifts away, leaves the head, that's where the drop of the head is. Once we've got our rollers there, and just want to mention that you might have the three or four, and you could use the red rollers for this roller set, and you could also use silver rollers for this roller set. I'm using charcoal just because of the length, but do feel free to use any size roller that you have. Um, your results, I'm sure, will be good. So to start the side, we just look at how far down we want our line to be using the diameter of the roller. So we know our line has to be around here. And then the length of the roller to determine where we want to start our line. We're just going to go on a diagonal. So create a diagonal line and make sure that it's the width of your diameter of your roller. And we're going to place an on base roller in here. This roller set has sectioning instructions in handout D9 with images and it also will have a contract. The assignment will be D9. So if you're looking for the page boy plus assignment and handout, look for D9 contract and D9 handout. We're going to clip at the back. So an on-base roller, notice the position of the roller, it's on the diagonal and it's clipped at the back. Then we're going to position another roller. You'll notice that we've carved out the side panel and if you need refresher on how to carve out the side panel there is a video for that as well. And you'll notice that just like in roller set number one we're going to use our roller to see where we start our part and we're going to go to half of this first roller that we put in. That's also what we did in set number one. So remember, having an organized system helps us to have speed and be able to repeat with accuracy and good results some styling techniques for clients. So we're just going to roll that up and again remember the head curves here so make sure your roller if it doesn't look exactly right take it out put it in again and follow the curve of the head so now once we've got these two rollers in where these two rollers meet and the eye we need to look at that and we're going to put a C shaping from where they meet towards the eye the open end of the C-shaping is going to be at the face, at the hairline, 
the closed end is going to be where these two rollers meet. So we just want to put our shaping in there. I'm just going to add a little bit of moisture. I'm using Joico's Styling Gel. It's a um, it's a it's a good gel, um, very flexible. So I find it helpful for roller sets. So I'm just going to put the C shaping in here. So remember, start your C shaping at the closed end and work towards your open end. Once you have your C shaping in there, carve out. I'm just going to turn her a little bit. It's a bit awkward for me. Hoping you can still see everything there. I'm try that C shaping again now that I've got her at the right angle. Okay, so then carve out, line it up with her eye, ribbon the hair, and these are flare pin curls. So we're just going to clip with just the tip of the clip and hold them in a semi-stand-up position. And remember the angle, okay? We have to make sure we're coming from the point where these two rollers meet. So line up and pick up these individuals. Don't carve out from here to here and then divide that. You'll lose your C shaping. Just pick up each section individual and make sure your pickup lines are connecting. It's just like connect the dots. Form your circle, tuck your ends in to the center of your circle and roll that hair up and clip with just the tip of your clip as you hold it in a semi stand up position. Your last one will be a little bit less hair. That's normal because we're getting to the point of this section that we're carving the hair out of. Tuck your ends in and let the circle of the pin curl just fit over the clip if the clip is in your way. And clip again with your tip of your clip in a semi stand up position. So your flare pin curls are on a diagonal line. If you look at your flare pin curls and they look horizontal, take them out and try them again. And just remember as you pick up, remember where you're starting from the eye and you're heading to the point where these two rollers meet. Okay? And keep your comb on a diagonal as you pick up. I'm just going to clip this one at the point, like more at the but because it is pivoting so it needs to be clipped at the tip. Okay so now our next division is going to be to take the hair at half of the ear. Carve that, make a division there. This hair we're going to do a reverse pin curl in and this hair we're going to divide from the crown to the jaw. So use our reference points, our facial features. So from the crown to the jaw, to the jaw, we have two sections, and we'll put the front section in first. And these are our indent rollers. Comb that back at zero degrees. And now I'm going to switch to red rollers, a size smaller. So if you're doing this whole top in red you will want to switch to silver rollers. If you're doing this in silver, you'll want to switch to green. Now remember that her head curves a little bit here as well, and we don't want to clip into the hairline, so we need to sneak in here and position our clip. This roller sometimes gets knocked out of the way, but we can sneak in there and hopefully get our clip in without knocking it out of the way and if it does knock it out of the way just add um, take it out and just straighten it up a bit so remember rollers indent rollers are placed in a section that's combed at zero degrees back and then rolled up try this again this roller is giving me a bit of trouble 
and it's okay if you have some trouble putting a roller in. The important thing is you don't just throw it in there. You try your best to get that roller in there looking nice and neat and you take it out. So it takes a little extra time but that's okay, at least it's neat. So now we have our two indent rollers and notice the position of them. They're diagonal. They're not sitting vertical, they're not sitting horizontal. A common mistake is that these rollers, people make them indent and they go horizontal. And then you kind of just get a flipped up look. You don't get the correct look with this style. So take a step back from your work, just like an artist, you need to step back from your work once in a while. You're going to check that these pin curls are on a diagonal. You're going to check that these rollers are on a diagonal. So once you have your two on base rollers, your flare pin curls, your two indents, then this hair we're going to comb forward, going to place our finger here and pull back. That gives us a nice C shaping. We're going to ribbon that hair, form our circle and roll it up. Do not roll it up too high. You want this to hang a little bit low and you want to clip through the hair and just at the top. And I'm going to turn her so that you can see how close this pin curl sits to her face. It doesn't flare out. If this pin curl is flaring out, take it out and re-clip it and clip right through the, almost like the sideburn of her hair and that will allow you to um, have that very close. This is a really important pin curl for the comb out. If it's clipped nice and close, it makes your job so much easier when you go to do the comb out. Okay, so that is the side. And the other side is exactly the same. And I've pre-done the other side because just for time, for the video, sometimes they're too long and I'm trying to shorten them up. So we've got our two on base rollers, clipped at the back, clipped at the point. Then our flare pin curls on a diagonal, our two indent rollers, and our reverse pin curl right underneath the flares and in front of the ear, in front of the ear. All the hair in front of the ear is in that reverse pin curl. Okay, so that's our sides. Now when we go to do the back, we're going to start with just filling in, placing another on base roller. And all we need to do now is fill this entire back with on base rollers. So I'm going to go to a charcoal roller in this section here to match up my charcoal rollers. And then I'm going to go to red rollers. And I'm just going to put a long, a short, a long. And then I'm going to reverse it and put a short, a long, a short. And then I'm going to put maybe too long or a short long. It'll depend on what I have left here. But you're just going to fill this back with on-base rollers. So I'm going to do that next. 